Mm -hmm. Tapicuros. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> Here in Misawai, Ecuador, in the Amazon rainforest, where we're currently living, uh, the indigenous people eat a large grub from a certain palm tree. They use machetes to chop the tree open and they get the grubs out. These guys have cut down a palm and they're harvesting the chantakuru, which you can see in the container wriggling around there. This is one of the main food sources here in the Amazon. Uh, Quechua and Shuar and other peoples have been harvesting these for thousands of years here in the jungle. Cut the tree down and wait for two months and then you get nice fried <laughs> They usually grill them, they can also be eaten raw. Uh, they're one of the main uh, food sources here, staple foods, and uh, they're actually considered to have curative properties, especially for the throat and generally anti-inflammatory. Aside from any medicinal properties that they might have, they're actually quite delicious as well, uh, especially when they're made in the uh, traditional maito, which is a leaf from a plant that has been cut down and wrapped up uh, with some palm oil inside and then it's put over coals and the worms are boiled. So in light of the fact that I'm from California, I decided to try a new recipe today and uh, kind of create a California meets Amazonas uh, cuisine uh, and make a wrap with the Chantacuros. I'm not sure why, but I have observed that the Quechua people often place the Chantacuro in water before serving. So prior to frying, we have placed them in a tub of water for a few minutes. Once we get the pan hot, we'll scoop out the Chantacuros and first thing we fry them alive. One of the ways that you can tell that they're starting to uh, approach being fully cooked is that you can see how this has become translucent. The meat has all sucked up into the top end of the worm. Or they'll kind of shrink like this, so this one's probably done. Uh, you do want to cook them until they're firm, otherwise they're going to kind of explode in your mouth. Which is fine for people that are custom eating them raw, but oh, they're getting sprayed. Yeah, that happens a lot. You got to watch out for worm guys. You see that? Wow, we're really going. Now that we have fried our worms, we have a nice bed of rice and our tortilla, which we also heated. Place the chantacurus, a few onions. A few pieces of avocado. Hot pepper for Papa, but probably not for everyone else. A touch of mustard. And voila, California style chantakuru wrap. Let's give her a try. Perfecto, que rico. The chantakuru is related to a shrimp. Um, so they're very similar. Uh, same texture. I honestly like them a little bit better. They don't have the fishy taste. And it's also a very clean source of protein because fish, uh, shrimp, of course, come from places like the Gulf of Mexico that are full of oil and other contaminants. So if you have a chance to come to Misawaii or anywhere in the Amazon where these are served, of course, I would recommend trying them the traditional way first, but this recipe is a winner in our book. So hit the like button, share, subscribe. If you like this content and you would like access to premium content, support us on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching.